Question 14. Negative 2 is less than n is less than or equal to 3. And we're asked to represent this inequality on the number line. So you might think about it like this. I can separate this inequality and say, well, I know that n is less... Uh, beg your pardon, what am I doing there? Less than or equal to 3. That's fairly obvious to see. And if I look at this carefully and read it backwards, if you will, I can say, well, that means n is also... And look, the mouth seems to be open here so n is bigger than negative 2 so in essence n is between 3 and negative 2 so I'm going to mark those for starters and then what I've got to be careful of is the actual inequalities what type is this this is n is less than or equal to 3 so if it's or equal to 3 I've got to color it in that means I'm including the 3 whereas this means go right up to the negative 2 but don't include it and then what we're going to do is we're going to join those two together because n can be any value within that interval the second part b we're asked to solve the inequality and you tackle this very much in the same way as you would tackle an equation so I'm going to start by adding 3 to both sides because we want to isolate the x so we get 8x is going to be greater than or equal to 6x plus 7. So 8x is greater than or equal to 6x plus 7. I'm going to take 6x off both sides. So taking away 6x from both sides of that inequality, we get 2x is greater than or equal to 7. And then finally, to work out x I'm going to divide by 2 it doesn't look it barely looks like a 2 let's try that again divide that by 2 and divide that by 2 so that means that x must be greater than or equal and you can just write it as a fraction 7 over 2 7 over 2 and if you really wanted to, you could simplify it to x is greater than or equal to 3.5. But you get marks for either that or that. Don't worry about that.